Hello my darlings and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are here in the Bramblewood area once again today, back at Haddon Hall. Last time we furnished the main living room area and we also furnished the main entrance hall. Today we're going to be cracking on with the Great Hall itself and also down into the basement with the butler's room and the wine cellar. So let's get into game and make a start. Happy Tuesday, my loves, and welcome back once again to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome back to Haddam Hall. Here we are. The sun is finally out. It's been raining. It is raining where I am at the minute. Nothing is new here. I feel like this has probably been the rainiest winter I've ever known and I need a holiday. The end. Well, here we are. We are back in Haddon Hall today. I have done a few things off of camera that I will go around and show you in just a second. But what we're going to be concentrating on today is the main Great Hall itself, which I'm going to do like a big dining table with lots of chairs in. But I also want to make this a bit of a ballroom as well, where they would maybe have events and stuff like charity events, that kind of like, you know, you know where we're going with that. And I'm toying with the idea of putting a staircase here um, up to this level here. I'm going to see what it looks like. I haven't player tested it or had a look what it's going to look like. Because it's a medium height wall, I'm a bit worried it's going to look a bit naff. But we'll have a little play around and see what happens. I just think it would be nice to have an access point down to this level as well. And I have done a few things off of camera, as I said. So I'm going to point you around to the things that we've done. I have furnished this room here which is the kind of informal dining room so this is where the family would come and have their meals and sit around afterwards maybe have a few drinks saying that I didn't get a globe out we'll do that together I just thought this would have been a nice room just to have a little bit separate from the rest of the house you know um and I liked that idea from you 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 were the ones you were the people that um came forward and said why don't you have like a bit more of an informal dining room and I really liked that idea so here it is here she is Actually, I kind of like that swatch in here. I wasn't keen on it then, but it's just flicked in my eye and said, use me. Yeah, but after dinner drinks here. Didn't want to put a rug under this area. But yeah, just put some pictures up on the wall, some tapestries. Put a picture above the fireplace as well. What else did we do? Oh, also this little library here as well. I'm only furnishing these up like off of camera because there's a, there is a lot of rooms to go through. There really, really is. So I just wanted to get the ball, the ball rolling a bit more. I did pre-warn you that that might be happening. I have copied this. There is the exact same painting in here, but the Sims are limited and I just think it looks fine. Absolutely fine. Nice little area. Again, can be used as an office as well, this library. But I just thought it would have been nice to have a nice little library in the house. I also went ahead and furnished the downstairs bathroom over here as well. So just very nice, very nice vibes. We have got two upstairs, two bathrooms upstairs. So we're not missing out on too much there at all. And also I have, went ahead, I've gone ahead and furnished the kind of, let's put some lights on here. I've gone ahead and furnished up what I said was going to be used as their kind of like antiques area where all of their old bits of furniture that just don't fit with the house anymore maybe or stuff that's like been in the family for generations and they just don't really like I've put it down on this level here so just lots of trinkety bits lots and lots of stuff uh, and I just think this fills up this space really nicely also changed a bit of the floor plan here I wanted a separate boiler room um, from what is now going to be the wine cellar um, but this is what we're going to be concentrating on today. The wine cellar, the butler's room, and also these two rooms here. I don't know what room I want. I definitely want the bathroom to go in this one here. But I don't know what to do with this room just yet. I might do it as a bit of a dressing room area. So with that being said, I'm going to use the wallpaper that I've used out here. And maybe do that. Um, that could be kind of a good vibe, actually. Yes, you can obviously see I put the wallpaper on as well. We, there was stone down here. It just looked a little bit too harsh for the butler's room. It really did. So we do not want that for this house. No, we do not indeed. But this is what we're going to be cracking on with today. So let's make a bloody start. So how are we all doing? It's Tuesday. It's a new week. And here we are furnishing today. How are you been? I hope you're all okay. It's a bit of a tough one at the minute, isn't it? I'm having a bit of a tough time. I've said it in my last video, but I am. You just got to be open to do kind of like sharing your feelings, haven't you? And I feel safe. This is my safe space with you lot. So I feel very, very privileged to be able to just come on and say that I feel this way. Um, it's just a bit shit, isn't it? it? Really is. I feel you. I know what you're going through. I'm going through the same. Maybe not the same, but 
It's a time, isn't it? It's one of those things. I'm going to a, I'm going to my chiropractor um, after I've recorded this video, so I'm going to be bent in half and snapped around for a little bit this later, and I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> that sounds filth. really does. Love this table, but I really wanted to use this one, but I just don't like the swatches on this one here, and the black would just be... Yeah, not the vibe. I did want to use a bit more of an older looking table. I mean, that's very similar. I just prefer the texture on this one for the story I want for this room. I would imagine this table here is a very old table. Maybe what the original table with the house. Um, So I wanted it to look that kind of way, but we can't. So we're not going to. I think I am shuffling it over this way because I still want to see if we can get a staircase in. Let's see if this is going to work for a start. Because if it doesn't, if it looks shit, then I won't do it. So what I would like is probably to start off this way, have a gap moment there, and then wrap the staircase around. Oh God, what are we miss? What are we losing here? Paintings and all sorts. Well, let's go into better build and buy and put on deletion protection, and then that should stop it from happening. All right, if we go to there, and then whiff, stop it. Go to there. No, there. And then pull that one up. Ah, ow. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> Let's get you in there. Do you know what? I think I'm for that. I think we do need to put the panelling on. And I think we need to change the stairs. I don't think I should go for stone stairs in here. Maybe even a wooden pair of stairs would look nicer. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think I prefer that. I do. I actually really like that. I think that works. Right, everything is still there. Okay. Do we want to go ahead and use the same banner stairs, what we've used on the main stairs? Because that is on a stone stair, and I just think it would maybe look a little bit weird on the wooden stair. It doesn't, but look at that glitch still happening. I... <laughs> when they fixed that, fixed that, I was so happy, but it's just, it's broken again now. It really is. Do you know what? That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I like that we've added stairs in here. I really do. And I think we're, well, we are going to have to move these now, but I could just whiffle them around this way instead. Put one there, one there, and then one like there, and then move them a little bit closer together, just like that. And then what I could do over on this side is add in a sconce. Sorry, I just nearly burped again. What is with me and burping lately on the videos? Seriously, it's because I eat just before. <laughs> I eat just before and then I come on and record and I'm just like, I'm a, I'm an animal, I tell you. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Don't think I'm going to do pillars and stuff up here. I think it doesn't need it. I think it need, it can stay as it is. That's really annoying, though. <sighs> Hopefully by the time this build is up on the gallery, that'll be fixed. <laughs> yeah, okay, Aiden. Yeah, I'll hold you to that. So... We are here. We need chairs. And I don't want loads in here. I definitely want some like coats of armor. Coats of armor? Coats of armor? Is that the right way? Yes, I think it is. Coats of armor. I maybe want to get some flags up on the wall as well up here. Just because this is a very medieval-esque looking hall area. Uh, so let's do that. Now, because this is a very dramatic room, I think these dramatic chairs would work really well in here. And I think I'm going to use them everywhere all on these tables. So we're going to do one there, all the way down. I maybe want to add a rug in here as well. In fact, I probably do want to add a rug in here. But it, it's going to need to be an absolutely, well, not massive, but an, a substantial size. I think we need to move you just a little bit more this way now. And I imagine what the butler does when there is a ball or something on, they take the chairs and tables down and put them down into the basement because you can get out from here as well. So that's a good vibe. That's a good storyline. We're sticking to it. Yes. Okay. Right. We need a rug. But first off, I'm going to bring a few more pieces. Of these, Well, a few more of these coats of armor in here. Coats of armor. Why does that sound really weird in my head? I know it's right. But do you ever do that? You say something and it just seems all wrong. And I think I feel like this is wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that works out really nicely. I need to find a rug. I think this one here, but not the one that looks kind of dilapidated. Not the one that looks all like, you know, ripped and stuff. I have put the ripped one down in the basement level here. So maybe they got this one remade or something. Something along those lines. But it does need to be bigger. And I'm thinking maybe a one point... 
Let's try 1.2 first. That looks okay, actually. Will you fit underneath of this table nicely? Oh, you, oh, you don't. Oh, well, not really. Not perfectly. Maybe I could go up to 1.3 then. And then they can roll this rug up as well when they have their balls or whatever, you know? Yes. I'd love to do like a save. Uh, like a period save. Do you know what I mean? I've seen a few people do like a kind of period and time save and use lots of mods for it and stuff. I'd love to do that one day. Um, Maybe that could be something we could look into for the next save file. You never know, darlings. You never bloody know. Oh yeah, that's the perfect size. I, I have a fear it might catch fire, but we're just going to go ahead and use it anyway. <laughs> yes, nice. I am going to add in a couple more of these though. I think I'm going to do two more. One on this edge and one on that edge there. Let me just have a little look-ski at you. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm for that. Definitely need some flags in here. And I'm even debating on putting some beams on the ceiling. Let's get that grid on there and let's see what this would look like. I'm just going to go ahead and put walls up there. Oh, damn. No, it'll be fine because the window is not going to interfere with the beam. Um, I'm going to do another two there and another two there like that. And then what I can do is go into the spandrels and maybe... What does that one look like? Oh, no. No, because of the trim outside. Oh, do you know what? That could be... This could be a happy accident. That could be a good... Oh. <laughs> you don't want to do art on that one? Don't fancy it. It's like the game hears me sometimes. It really... It is. It's like... it like, Honestly, I could... I could... Slap a fish right now. But I'm not going to because I really like fish. Nah, it wasn't having any of it. Because of, it's something to do with the chimney breast. Why the... That glitch that we've got here. That's very effective glitch wasn't working but I've gone for the more fancier ones and I've just done two where the lights are and I think that just adds a little bit of drama guys I'm for it I really am here we go let's get some flags in shall we so I think the best ones to probably use is the ones that I always use and it's these ones uh, I don't want them to be too much of a dramatic color but if I remember rightly they're all of a bit, they're all a bit dramatic. Yeah, this one's probably going to be the best one. So if I can do like one there. And then, oh, I can't put the same on the other side because the window's in its place. So what I could do is pop one there. One there. And I think maybe, can I add, shall I add two in here? Is this the right height? I have no idea. Yeah, that is the right height. If I add one there then. Can we go in the middle there? Can you stop being a bell end? Thank you. Um, I don't really like that. I think what I probably need to do is do two here as well. Just to balance it out. Is that right? Oh, are you a little bit too far? I can't really tell, to be honest with you. No, I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. So this is a ballroom. It's got the music up here, but I still wouldn't mind putting some kind of stereo down at this level. Now, this might look a little bit strange, but we're going to do it anyway. I think I probably, when we're going into the bedroom and the kitchen, I think I want to maybe add in, what would you look like in here? Would you look a little bit weird? I mean, you're not great. Let me just say that. But I don't think this one's going to be any better either. No, we'll go for that one. That one would be absolutely fine. And we need a nice big picture here as well. I am going to copy the one that we've used in the hallway, but I think what I'm going to do is just change the colour of the frame and go for a bit more of a gold vibe. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's drama right there, loves. Very much is. And I think what we should also do is add some big fancy candelabras up on top of the table. Maybe go for some gold-looking ones of these as well. Shall I, like, double them up? Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Let me see this. Yes, I can see. Yes, that's the vibe. Just for those dramatic, dramatic ballroom dances. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea at all. But that's filling me with vibes, that room. I think that is just perfect as, as it is, really. I don't want to add anything else in there. It's got it all. Lovely job. Well, we're moving on then. And I think where we're going to start is on the butler's bedroom itself. So we can just get a feel for things. And then I'm going to have a little think about what I actually want to put in these two rooms here as well. Okay, here we go. 
So I want to make this into a bit of a space for him. So maybe a little kitchenette, a small little living room as well. I think that could be a nice vibe. Uh, I'm thinking about using one of these beds down here. Yeah, I'm going to use the wrought iron bed. Pop you into that point there. I do like it with that gold detail as well. I think that looks very nice. Unless I put the bed over in this position. Over by the door and push it in to the door there. And then that gives us enough room to add in other places. Like other pieces. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. Let's do that. Because we're not going to need to put out like furniture and stuff here. Because we're going to be... I am going to be making this into his dressing room. I am going to change that flooring though. Yes, this is what we're going to do. So we need a bedside table. We're going to go for something a little bit older looking. Maybe the one, this one here. I think that's perfect. We could even move this door just a little bit like that. And then flop that into place. Just like that. And I think for one Christmas, Lady Hillary bought him a Tiffany lamp. So that's what we're going to put in here. This one. He absolutely hates it. <laughs> he thinks it's copping, but he cannot throw it away because he'd be... Well, you'd have to explain where it went, you know. But you absolutely think it's the most disgusting thing he's ever seen in his life. And he was fuming about it. <laughs> that is the storyline, thank you. I would like an ottoman at the end of the bed here. Something that would look like it's got a little bit of storage in. Mm, they don't... Ri this one here kind of looks like it could be lifted up. Yeah, let's do this one. I'm going to flop you into there. Is that colourway okay in here? It actually is. Yeah, I'm going to pop you down to the front there like that, my love. Oh, I'm for it. So we need some kind of little kitchenette. I think over in this corner here would be a nice area to put a kitchenette in. I'm hoping that the butler doesn't come down here to cook food because that would be really annoying. But we know what The Sims is like, so it will probably happen. I think we should just go for a dark brown one. I'm not going to do like a big fridge. I think like a small fridge with a, a microwave. We won't put an oven down here so it doesn't tempt him to come down here and start cooking. That's a good idea. So if I can put the microwave or something on top of that we could also then maybe squeeze in another one yeah and then put the fridge down by the side of this one i'm going to go for this fridge here i'm going to pull it just out a little bit so it doesn't cut in with that curtain too much and then i can put a sink on top of this one as well um uh, just an old sink would be fine maybe they reutilized where the kitchen used to be and moved it into here like the, the storylines you know, I'm all for them. I really am. So I think just up here, a little corner piece in the side there like that. And then a little whiffle and then a little whipty woo on the side like that, darlings. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll work. Yes. Now, I think I'm just going to put... We'll give them a bit of a nicer microwave. I think I'm going to put the microwave on top of the fridge, you know. Oh, no, actually. There's a better use for it over there, isn't it? I wish I could put that fridge in more, but we're, we're sticking with storylines up somewhere. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to need a pedal bin in here. Let's go for this one. And I'm just going to put it off to a jaunty. Just off to the side like that. Yes, with maybe a small little dining table here. I mean, you could have a bigger dining table, but I would like to utilize this area a bit more as a living room. So let's get a little dining table in with a couple of chairs. Maybe he's got some kind of love out there, the butler. Who can say? We'll see what happens. Maybe it's a love interest for him. But he is going to be an NPC, so maybe not. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I've got deletion protection on. Silly bum. Go away. There we are. Um, why did I get rid of that anyway? I, I only wanted to change the swatch of it. For goodness sake, Aiden. Get your shit together, please. Honestly. Um, that's a bit too red. I mean, he's not going to be too fussy. Or maybe he is, you know. I'm going to go for that one anyway. Yep, bugger it. Couple of older looking chairs as well. I think like a lot of the furniture and stuff down at this level, especially in his room, is all kind of like older bits from the household um, that just don't get used anymore, really. Quite sad to think about that. I wouldn't mind some kind of separation from the kitchen and the bedroom, but I'm not going to go down that route of being too fussy about it. Definitely some kind of bookcase on here. Would he watch TV? Uh, maybe he does. You know, maybe he does. I'm going to try you over there just for the minute. Just to sort of say, I think that works quite nicely there, actually. Because then I've got enough room here to put a sofa in and then have this as the wall. Yeah, we'll do that. So as I said, a bookcase. We'll go for this one here from Get Together. I just think it fits in quite nicely with the vibe. In fact, I'm going to put it into this corner. 
because then what I can do is put up a little TV stand. Drop it into that corner there. I love that I'm pulling out these pieces and the swatches just match perfectly. I love when that happens. And then give them a really old TV as well. Yeah. And maybe a battered old looking sofa. Is maybe... Uh, I think that one's a bit too much. You know, that one's a little bit too... Not fit for a butler anyway. So maybe actually this one. Instead. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Not in that colour though. That colour's not for here. That cream one's quite nice. Oh, maybe a bit of a like a... An older like pattern on it. I'm going to go for the older pattern. I know it doesn't match in here at all. But again, it's a hand-me-down bit of furniture. You can't be too fussy, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's a better layout, actually. Because then what I can do is put a side tape over on this side here. Again, something looking a little bit more old and battered. I'll go for the wooden pedestal. Like that. And maybe another Tiffany lamp. <laughs> he would be fuming if that was the case. No. We'll go for that broken one. <laughs> <laughs> he's not having a good time of it down here isn't he in the basement bloody of all the broken furniture like do you know what at least he's got a roof over his head that's all i'm gonna say yeah very nice and i'm gonna use one of the older rugs as well just in front of the sofa area there yeah what else we need he would need a desk but i'm even thinking about putting the desk in the dressing room it's a bit weird because it's kind of shutting yourselves away in a cupboard but Right, do you know what? Actually, what I could do is put the dining room table behind the sofa and then put a small little single desk over here. That's what we'll do instead. Yes, we will. And I think I want to use this one here from City Living. I would like to see more single desks that aren't like overly styled and stuff, like just some really nice, simple like desks. I know you can use dining tables and stuff, but it, it's not the same, you know? Yeah. Nice little desk like that. I think he's got a laptop down at this level as well. Just to keep himself occupied. And maybe just a really old... How many times are I going to say old and battered in this episode? Well, I feel old and battered at the minute. So maybe that's why I'm saying it quite a lot. We use the same chairs we've used on the dining table. Yeah. Yeah, that works out quite nicely, actually. I mean, that's a good little space, to be honest. He should be, he should be grateful, as far as I'm concerned. Very nice. So a dressing room. I don't want to go too mad on this, but I'm thinking a wardrobe on one side and I probably want to go down the route of using something maybe like this. You know what? That could work. I'm going to put you right in the middle and then I'm going to do a dresser on the other side. But I think I just want to stick with something a little bit more classic like this for the dresser. Yes. And then I can put you on the other side like that. And then have a mirror in the middle or even that would probably be better actually if i move this along like this and then put a mirror over on this side here just so we can make sure that his uniform is all lovely i think i want to go down that route let's go for a darker tone yes that's better very nice and i reckon he likes to well, he looks after himself quite a bit so i reckon he would have some kind of area here where he can get ready as in like hair dryer and all of that kind of good stuff so let's find that yeah, there you go. A few perfumes. I've given him a watch and his glasses, hair dryer, and a bit of music as well. He gets, likes a bit of music in the morning. A bit of classical when he's getting ready for his day. And I reckon he gets up quite early, like five in the morning or something. I can imagine it. Yeah, lovely little dressing room. And a bathroom. I think I want to go down the route of making the bathroom look old, but not as like opulent as the upstairs one that I did. So maybe going for a shot like a shower and tub combo like that. That swatch is absolutely fine. Um, unless we get, no, I always remember the swatches from that. Oh, sorry. I always forget about the swatches with this one with good reason. So shower, bath combo. I'm going to go for a toilet here as well. Maybe just the older. Yes, this one here. And then the sink. I think I want to go for Something that looks a little bit more industrial, like this. No, it needs to be a little bit more. I've used this one upstairs. Maybe even this one, actually. The Art Deco-y looking one. Yeah, we'll go for this one. I'm going to tuck you right into there. Daisy's snoring in the background. You probably can't hear on the mic, but I can hear it. She is having a lovely sleep, bless her. She's been out. She went out on a big hike with me yesterday. Where we did a 14-mile hike. Was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday, sorry. Um, so I've been resting her legs, just taking her on a couple of small walks 
since we've been back. Bless her. Because um, it was her first long distance. I waited until she was a year old. She's going to be a year on Wednesday, this Wednesday. How nuts is that? How has a year gone past already? Crazy. But um, yeah, I was waiting for her to get to a year old before I take her out on a long distance. Because puppy's bones are still growing. But she was full of beans. She was full of beans. Not when she got back. She was absolutely asleep to the world when she got back. We got home about six and she slept all the way through to the morning, bless her. <laughs> she was done. She really was. Anyway, waffling on. I'm going to get a towel rail up here as well. I think I'm going to go for this one here. Very simple. I think it would work here. Yes. But because this is a bathroom, I am going to put some kind of blind up at the window here. And I'm hoping... We can get something that looks okay. I think we'll probably have to go for this one and size it down. I mean, it does not go with these fancy windows, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. Yeah. Oh! The butler. The butler's room is done. Reginald, you're going to be absolutely made up with your new room, love. Oh, you're not going to want to come out. You really aren't. Stunning. Okay, well, moving on to the wine cellar. <sighs> I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I do want to bring some object down where you can actually make the nectar. So I am going to use like the nectar like making thing here. Um, because I've, I think this estate would have its own wine. Like that kind of vibe. Do you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do. Nectar. And here we are. I'm going to get this one here. I'm going to put it as near to the door as possible. Lovely. Lop you into there like that, my love. It's going to be a very simple room. I do, however, want to get in as many of these as possible. So I think what I want to do is... Oh, God, not that. Skirt some off to the side like this. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do it in groups of ten, I think. We, should we got one more? Yeah, I'm going to. It needs to be dramatic. Like that. And then I'm going to do... Maybe, no, we'll, we'll stick to the middle. We'll do this. We'll do one, two, oh, three. I wish these would be automatic when you just grab them. As in, like, they stay on your cursor. You know what I mean? Like that. And then do the same around on the other side. So if I can do one, two, all the way up. Yeah, there we go. The only problem is... I think what we need to do is move them all a little bit further forward because I just want to do another row of them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Lovely. And then I want to use these as some kind of decoration. I think I want to add a few of these in. Maybe these are kind of imported wines. They're favourites from over the lands. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. What else could we add in here? Oh, we could add a couple of these in. Oh, that does look nice. I might add one of these up into the kitchen area as well if I can. Oh, yes. Maybe a bit, meh, a bit worried about that fire. In fact, I'm going to get rid of you and put the wine there instead. I think the wine looks a little bit nicer. Yes. I am for that. And then come down to this level. I don't really want to add too much else in here. What's this here? Antique nectar press? Yeah, why not? We'll have one of these in. Can we go a bit darker with it, love? There we go. Flop you over into the corner and then maybe just fill up that space on the wall here just with some extra wine bottles like this yes that is the wine cellar very simple but i think it's very effective and that is an ample amount of wine that you can get in there because all um in here you can do, i've got all the fruits in here that you can make the nectar with as well which it's just going to be stunning all year round nectar making absolutely beautiful so with the boiler room, I'm going to add two of these in. I just think this house would probably need a bit more of a substantial boiler. I'm not going to put any lighting in there or anything. I think it's going to just going to be very dramatic. I'm going to put a cobweb in here, though. Perfect place for a spider. My, my spider. My spider? Spiders in my, are always in my boiler cupboard outside my house as well. Ugh. Beans, they are. I'm not going to put anything in the hallways. So I don't think it needs it whatsoever. It's going to stay as free as it can. So I think the downstairs is done, to be honest with you. Well, there we have it, my loves. We are done for today. Uh, I think that came up really nicely and quite easily. Glad we put the stairs here. Really, I'm glad we put the stairs here. So tomorrow, what we're going to be doing is jumping up into the bedrooms. I think we're going to do the main bedrooms 
together all in one part. So I don't even know if tomorrow's going to be the final part of this one. It might be the final part of Haddon Hall tomorrow. We will see. Um, because I could... I think we'll start off with like the main bedroom belonging to Lady Hillary. I would like to give her a dressing room of some kind as well. So I might even split up one of these rooms and give her like a nice big dressing room or something like that. We'll see what happens. Um, and also we have got uh, this room and this area here up here to do. So I might go down the route of doing a couple of bedrooms and maybe make a start on this up here. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens of it in tomorrow's part. But let's finish on, on a nice view of the Great Hall, shall we? Oh, and there she is in all of her wonder. Stunning! Anyway, thank you so much for watching, my dears. Leave me some lovely comments down below. And if you've got any ideas, as always, feel free to chuck them into the comments as well. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.